want to tell you about what you First, I give honor to God. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I thank God for this opportunity that the pastors have given me. It is my heart's desire to love on you. As Christ loves on me. I have a sermon prepared. But I believe. That the Lord is sending me another way. <laughs> I work hard on this sermon. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. 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 What should I preach? So, the Holy Ghost is in charge. Yeah. I am going to pray and I will get started. Again, welcome. And thank God for all of you. Father, in Jesus' name, would you come to thank you for another opportunity to break the bread of life with your children that are called by your name. It is my heart's desire, Father, that you would bless them as you have blessed me. I yield my mind, my body, and my spirit to the Holy Ghost that indwells me. I pray that the gifts of your spirit will operate within me and through me and that the fruit of your spirit will abide. I pray, Father, I will only teach those things that I'm striving to put and to live in my own life. I pray that you will bring all things to my remembrance. I pray that you will give me revelation knowledge while I'm yet upon my feet and that you will take me beyond the walls of my human limitations. See through my eyes, see with my ears, and speak to my very heart. I thank you that Satan has no place here. He has given us his examination, and he has failed. But we are God's children, and we are called by his name, and we are covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, have your will, and have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. As I studied, God gave me a title. And it's called Take the Assignment. Take the Assignment. And I will begin reading to in John chapter 14, verse number one. Take the assignment. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, ye know, and the way, ye know. What do I mean by take the assignment? Take the assignment. 
Taking an assignment means to work. No matter your creed, no matter your race, but it means to come together to get the gospel out. Let me say it another way. To preach the gospel around the world. I had a vision. I saw the American flag. I saw the Christian flag. I saw the Burma flag and other flags around the world coming together to get the gospel of the kingdom and to work together in love the universal language is love. I'm going to give you my testimony. I was a drug dealer. I was a criminal. I used drugs and I was the leader of gangs. I had women on the street making money for me. I lived a very hard life. It was self-survival. It was the only thing I need. But Jesus, my Lord and my Savior, found me in the midst of doing evil. He told me that he loved me. I never felt love like that before. He, he, he appeared to me like he did Paul on the road to Damascus. He told me my future. And he said to me, don't be afraid. Preach my gospel. He delivered me from drugs, from alcohol, and from an evil lifestyle. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. He sent me 
to go create a market in here, to build an infrastructure, to go to create a kind of guru, to solve it, to do no some here, to change the church, I think no go beyond it, but to go no some here, from traditional ways, the Julia, no the Chenrui Julia, Tongshan the Liga, I think no go beyond it, but to create a to do no here. And to only follow his word. Not to lean to my own understanding. And that he would teach me the gospel. I did not know the gospel. Nor how to preach. But it's not my work alone. It's our work. Not just the pastors. Not just our children. But for the generations to come. So that we may glorify God. The Lord delivered me in one day. Instantaneously. Instantly. No hospitals. See you on no doctors. Delivered me. He said that I had to accept him as my Lord, as, his, as my Lord, the king in and my Savior. And that he would raise me up. And that he would raise me up. Because of his love for me. It does not matter. Your language. Your creed. What, what country you are from. We all have the same work. To preach the gospel. Of Jesus Christ. There's three things that I have learned. Once we are born again, we must be filled with the Holy Ghost. So that we may have power. To carry out God's will in the earth. I was ruptured. I was damaged. Didn't know my way. Until I met Jesus. He said that he would give me a good wife. He gave me a good wife. Without my wife and the Lord Jesus Christ, I could not do this. He said that he would bless me with children. Even though I already had a whole lot. <laughs> Even though I had a lot of children already. He said that I had sons and daughters. They were out on the streets. On drugs. He said if I were to obey him. 
that he would save my children. And he has saved my children. He gave me a vision to go out into the highways and the hedges and compel men to come into the kingdom of God. He showed me the world. And he told me that seven churches will come out of this one church. Me being a drug addict, I told God, I was a crook, I was a cr criminal, and I could not do it. But you see me standing here tonight. Not by any power of my own, but by the power of Almighty God. God will use anyone if we yield to him. It doesn't matter your age or what you are bound by or what type of life you've lived. Jesus will save you. He says, come just as you are. Putting aside our pride, our traditions, and come to Jesus just as we are. Everything that the Lord promised me, he has given it to me. When the Burmese pastor talked with me, it touched my heart to know that there were others on the other side of the world that love Jesus as we do here yeah. which makes us one family yeah. no separations we are brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. We need your gifts and we offer our gifts to you that we may work together to reach the laws. Jesus came to seek and to save that which is lost. The emptiness that I had in my heart, the emptiness that I had in my heart, the Lord filled it. With love. The very ones, the people that I sold drugs to, and the women that I abused, God is sending me. He's sending me back to those people 
to give them the gospel. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. He delivered me from them. To send me back to them. As a sign. And a witness. That Jesus. Can do all things. If we accept him as Lord and Savior, I was sick in my body. I had a tumor in my chest about the size of my fist. I lost my voice. And the Lord healed it in one day. He is a healer. He is a deliverer. He can change any heart. No matter how dark you may think it is, that they may think it is. Jesus is here tonight and each and every one of the believers if you are here tonight and you have never accepted Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior this is, this is your night he can fix you, raise you up, cause tears to run down your face, yeah. to give you joy, to give you peace, yeah. to give you a praise that you have never had before. He will make a difference in your life. Because he is a God that loves all that would accept him. He is coming soon. Are you prepared? Is your house in order? There may be cracks in your walls. And what do I mean by cracks? There may be sin that could get in. Is it possible? Jesus came that we might have life. Uh, and have life more abundantly. He can supply all of our needs. It does not matter if you have a job or not. The Lord Jesus Christ can fix things for you. Every gift every talent and every ability can work together through the love of Jesus. There are no substitutes for Jesus. There, there are no let me see how can I say this don't interpret that. There, there is nothing that can take the place of Jesus. No prophet. No pastor. No person. But all of us together can work together without fear 
And we can, we can stand together, arm in arm, heart to heart, and with one praise, and that's Jesus Christ the righteous. Do you love Jesus? If you love Jesus, you will follow Jesus wherever he takes you. We have a job to do. So let us put aside all differences and let us work together as one to do the will of God. I want to read some scripture. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 through 16 and I want to focus on verse 16 ကျွန်တော်မြန်မာလို့ဖတ်ပြရမယ်ဆိုရင်အေးဖက်အေးဖက်ဝါဒဇာခန့်ကြီးလေးအပိုင်းငယ်ဆက်ချောက်ထို